All right, let's wrap up our conversation about free will and moral responsibility and these questions about whether or not those things actually exist in reality. And let's wrap up by um, looking at some of the questions you responded to at the very beginning of this exploration in your thought primer. And we can see, we, we kind of compare how was I thinking about these issues before I did this thought primer? And then now after doing my reading and my thinking and listening to these lectures, what am I thinking now? What seems to make the most sense? How am I going to situate myself? Am I a hard determinist? Am I a libertarian? Am I a compatibilist? Um, you're a hard determinist if you feel as though you do have the power to choose, but those that feeling is really just kind of an illusion because you believe that Everything that occurs in reality is caused to occur by the sum total of events and conditions that have led to the moment when an event occurs, right? So, and this includes, as for hard determinist, things like your thoughts, your choices. Feels like I'm free, feels like these choices are being made by me, um, I'm select, feels like I'm selecting options, but in reality, I kind of think of the thoughts and the choices that I have in my head um, as analogous to a tree falling, right? Tree doesn't decide to fall. It falls because it's caused to fall. And as a hard determinist, I believe that's kind of uh, what's going on with my thoughts and my choices. I'm almost kind of along for the ride of my life as it unfolds by all of these physical causes. And importantly, because of that as a hard determinist, I don't think you can hold me morally accountable. I don't think moral responsibility really exists in any meaningful way because to hold somebody accountable, they would have had to have had the ability to do other than what they did, right? And so I, I just like I don't blame a person who's been thrown off the top of a building and lands on a person on the sidewalk, I don't blame that person for, for landing on that person on the sidewalk and killing them because it's not like they could have done otherwise. They're flying through the air uh, and they were forced to fly through the air. Um, I kind of think as all of my actions in that same way, says the hard determinist. So if I do something really good, I mean, I'll take the praise, but on some level as a hard determinist, if I'm honest with myself, I recognize I don't really deserve the praise because I couldn't have done other than what I did. It's not like I chose to do it. It felt like I chose to do it, but I didn't really. Um, and by the same token, when I do something wrong, uh, you can't, don't blame me. I couldn't help it, says the hard determinist. Now, you may try to, you, you, if I do something wrong, you may put me in jail. You may do like a clockwork orange thing and try to reprogram me. Okay, so it doesn't mean that all bets are off and I get to do anything I want as a hard determinist. It just means that you can't blame me. Um, you can't hold me morally accountable. You might be able to hold me legally accountable, but not morally accountable, because that would imply that I had the ability to do the right thing. But the hard determinist says no. Hard determinist is saying this is all like a, a lot of illusion, this choice thing, this free will thing. Sort of like the cow facing the choice to go left or right. They both wind up in the same place. There was really no authentic choice there in the first place, um, even though the cow believes there is. Okay, so if that resonates with you, um, you're probably a hard determinist. But if you're listening to this and you're thinking like, bull crap, dude, that makes no sense. Like really no sense. I don't like that at all. It seems to uh, conflict radically with how I experience my life. And in order to accept hard determinism, I would have to believe that I'm living almost like a hallucination, almost like a, almost like a dream. I'm just this I, I wouldn't be having the experience of my life that I think I'm having. It would all be a lie. If you think, for example, this cow looking at the choice to go left or right could just say, to hell with it. I'm not going left or right. I'm going back to the pasture behind me. Well, then you might be a libertarian. Okay? So if you're a libertarian, you think the determinists would be right that if we are determined, we're not morally responsible for our actions. But, says the libertarian, they're wrong that we're determined. I have the ability to choose freely. I have these options out in front of me. It feels like I can make choices uh, from among those options. I do. That's how I live my life. That's how I experience my life. It's intuitive and it seems to, to reflect reality as it's experienced by me on a moment to moment basis. You're a libertarian and you say, because I can choose from among options and I don't have to do the things I do, when I do something good, bring on the praise. Because I didn't have to do the thing that you liked me doing. I chose to do it. So if I chose to do it and it's good, bring on the praise. And if I do something wrong, something you don't like, I might not like it. 
Um, but if I'm honest with myself as a libertarian, I acknowledge that you're right. You're justified in holding me morally accountable for my actions when I do good things and bad things. So I might not like that you're blaming me for what I've done, but if I'm honest with myself, I have to acknowledge that I chose to do that thing and I didn't have to. I could have chose otherwise. Now, if you look at both of these and you say, they're, they're both sort of right, right? Hard determinist is right that everything is determined. Everything is caused to happen by physical events. It's out of our control in the way that the libertarians say. But libertarians are onto something when they say, you know, when I do something, I own that action and therefore I am morally responsible for it, even though I couldn't have done otherwise. Then you're probably a compatibilist. Sometimes people call this soft determinism, right? Because you believe, just like the determinist, that everything uh, that you do was caused by physical events leading up to that decision to do that thing. But as a compatibilist, you kind of see these these actions. Um, and this is a bad analogy, but it's sort of like it's sort of like the exhaust on the car. It's, your actions are something that uh, you you produce as a living being, just like the exhaust is something the car produces from its engine. God, that's a bad analogy. But at any rate, the 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 compatibilist is saying, look, your your existence is defined not just by what you are, but by who you are, and who you are is in part defined by what you do. So you own what you do, even though you couldn't have done otherwise, therefore you're morally responsible. Now you might have seen this, it'd be interesting to go back and look at how you answered this question in your thought primer. Here's the statement. And if, if in a given situation it's 100% impossible for me to do any action but one particular action, and I do that action, then I'm not morally responsible for that action. If you said false, you're a compatibilist, right? Because what you're saying here is, I don't think that's true. If just because I had to do an action doesn't abrogate moral responsibility, I, I'm still responsible for this action because it's one I did, even though I couldn't have avoided doing it, right? That's classic compatibilist, okay? So if you said this statement is false, you're a compatibilist probably. On the other hand, if you said the statement's true, then you're either a hard determinist uh, or a libertarian. And it wouldn't be clear in how you answered this question uh, how, because, or which one of those you are, because a determinist would say it's always the case that it's 100% impossible for you to do any action but one particular action because everything is caused by physical events and is therefore inevitable, and you're never morally responsible for your actions. That would be a hard determinist. But on the other hand, you said, yeah, if in this situation I wouldn't be morally responsible because I couldn't have done anything but this one particular action, can't hold me to, to account for that. But if it was a different situation where it wasn't 100% impossible for me to do this one action, I could have done something else, then I am, uh, then you can hold me morally responsible. Then you'd be a libertarian. All right, so let's do this. In the next one, we'll really wrap up. This was the teaser wrap up. Let's look at the Dave and Todd situations and see kind of how you navigate your way through each one of those scenarios. And it'll tell you something about how you situate yourself um, in, in relative to moral responsibility and free will.